नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम वेलकम टू योर ऑन चैनल ए सी एस ट्रो एंड टूडे इज वीडियो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज यू नो वेन प्लेनेट्स लाइक राहु एंड सेटन ऑलवेज वी टॉक अबाउट दैट वीडियो बिकम इंटरेस्टिंग राहु इज गोइंग टू ट्रांजिट इन उत्तर भाद्रपद दैट इज ए नक्षत्र ऑफ सेटन देन हाउ दिस विल गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट ऑल द ट्वेल्व असेंडेंट स्पेशली पीपल हुर गोइंग थ्रू राहु एंड सेटन महादशा लेट्स वेलकम आकाश चौहान जी फ्रॉम कैनविट कैनेडा विद ऑल हिज रिसर्च एंड द व्यू पॉइंट अबाउट दिस इंपॉर्टेंट ट्रांजिट ऑफ राहु नमस्कार राम राम जी नमस्कार राहु इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रांजिटिंग सो there is a lot of confusion that 5th of july or 8th of july or 9th of july when is rahu transiting according to drik panchanga which is very very reliable uh, source of uh, you know our panchanga our ephemeris uh, i feel it is 8th of july 2024 rohit ji we agree on this right yes definitely i also see the number of dates there some saying true transit on this date this date but yes drik panchan say 8 july yeah, yeah. So 8 july is when it is transiting till 24th of february 2025 so very long period for everyone in uttra bhadrapada nakshatra now as uh, we always go into the depths of what is happening why is it happening how is it happening so this is what this is all about now it's all about the depths उत्तर भद्रपदी और उत्तर भद्रपदा यू नो द नक्षत्र इज द नक्षत्र ऑफ द डेप्स उत्तर भद्रपदा इज द सेकेंड इन द भद्रपदा पेर लाइक इट्स फर्स्ट इट्स अबाउट ऑस्पिशियस स्टेप्स यू नो फ्रॉम द पाथ द लाइफ टू द नेक्स्ट लाइक लाइक द फर्स्ट इट डील्स विथ थीम्स ऑफ री इनकार्नेशन एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बट वेन the previous bhadrapada approaches the theme is in a different manner now there are two bhadrapadas both are ruled by the serpent okay this is very very softer side and a very auspicious side and the other one the uh, purva bhadrapada bhadrapada is ruled by very fierce one this is what it is both bhadrapadas are ruled by the gods of destruction that is rudras in the form of dragon nagas the dragon of purva bhadrapada is surrounded by fire and painful element and that of uttra bhadrapada on the other hand is surrounded by water and soothing element so that means rahu is going and leaving the area of lot of fire um, you know he's he's coming from revati nakshatra here not yet in the fire i miscalculated uh, that here rahu is leaving revati the nakshatra of you know nurturing to this nakshatra nakshatra of pushan devata to the nakshatra of uttra bhadrapada here you know what is happening the main thing rahu uh, you know rahu is going to be entering this place and uttra bhadrapada is like its twin inclined human being towards a transcendent and transformational path but with more calm and less struggle being the star of a dragon uttra bhadrapada does not incline humanly towards wealth that means it is not a materialistic um what do you say uh, nakshatra it is a place which is you know where they conceive wealth as something more than just financial entity that means wealth of inner you know the inner purpose the inner self this is what it is very i am telling you that out of all the nakshatras this nakshatra is the most deepest nakshatra you have to go exactly inside the soul dna exactly this is the dna nakshatra you know now here the name abhir budnya this is the name of this the deity of this nakshatra which is a serpent here it means serpent and budnya means bound to the root the serpent that is bounded to its roots very very internal roots this is what this nakshatra means now here uttra pata pata imparts a uh, love of water and for the classical qualities of water element fertility beauty calm introspection and even loneliness or sense of being separate and private from the world this is how this whole nakshatra is and you know those people who are have so much knowledge as in so much debt they will not gel around with people around them that is why this keeps them private from the world abhir butnya is an auspicious dragon but a dragon you know like rahu is a uh, malefic but sometimes it is the um, planet of material wealth but unfortunately it is a dragon that means it's a snake somewhere it can you won't even know when it bites you this is how prominent it is 
because it's a dragon also so anger aggression and envy sometimes manifest through utra bhadrapada that means these are the traits of utra bhadrapada but watery you know that means as soon as you get this kind of problem like anger aggression and envy you will immediately cool down as well so it's a very balanced nakshatra now ahir budne is a serpentile deity associated with the depths of ocean and the subconscious realm as the presiding deity of uttra bhadrapada nakshatra ahir budne represents hidden potential mysteries and profound wisdom you know at the bottom of the ocean there is wealth at the bottom of the earth there is knowledge there is you know fertility there is something which is called you know you see the the land is so fertile our whole land that's why we have so many trees plants grown near us same way wherever this uh, serpent ahirputne sits it is that place where there is lot of you know lot of fertility lot of wisdom in that area his name which means serpent of the depths reflects his domain over the unseen and the unknown that means something that you have never experienced before this is the time that rahu's intuitive and uh, you know very curious nature will take you towards something unseen and unknown part of your life rahu on the other hand you can see we everyone know you know those who are very new to astrology rahu is a rahu is a name given later earlier it was called swarna bhanu when lord vishnu cuts his throat because he took the elixir in cheating you know that is the time his head became rahu and the tail became ketu and it is rahu on the other hand like ketu and rahu have very different um, you know the way of uh, their working is completely ze- zero like rahu is a planet of material wealth ketu is a planet of solitude of lot of liberation you know rahu is a planet to put you into private jets ketu is the planet to put you into ashramas in complete loneliness this is what the power of rahu and ketu is so rahu represents illusion desire and the karmic consequences of one's action sometimes in some cultures rahu is also taken like saturn rahu and ketu do not have any difference they are all treated as one and the same so that is also another thing here the story began when rahu ceaseless quest of power of knowledge you know he is completely everything every time is about power power and power and knowledge and knowledge and knowledge driven by his insatiable uh, curiosity and desire rahu ventures into the depths of cosmic ocean where abhir budne resides drawn to the mysteries and hidden wisdom that arvidya guards rahu seeks an audience with the mighty serpent a serpent meeting a serpent okay going into the nakshatra of saturn which has no judgment about anyone in the world here arvidya aware of rahu's nature challenges him to confront the deepest fears and desires and rahu says you know who the hell am i am the mighty rahu how will i have my fears and desires you know i i have everything in the world i desire only for power and he said rahu must navigate the tissues water of the subconscious facing illusions and deceptions that mirror his own inner turmoil as he delves deeper rahu encounters aspects of himself had a long ignored or denied the good and spiritual side rahu said man i am not only about material life i am about this good and spiritual side as well it's not only it's my devotion towards ma durga also which makes a very big difference in of my existence so rahu also thought himself that he is only a power seeker he is only running to get some power or some recognition but then he also understood that there is a very good side of spiritual side of rahu as well through this journey rahu began to shed his illusions and understand the nature of his desires ahir budnia witnessing rahu struggle and growth imparts to him the wisdom of deaths rahu learns that the true power lies not in the pursuit of external validation but in the mastery of one's inner world as outside whatever you are being treated as whatever you are being accepted or denied as does not really matter when you your conscious can you know have a conversation with your soul and say that okay man this is where i stand 
this is how i look at you. i look at you and this is how you look at me and there is no external validation of you being a good person or bad person this is when you will have a real transformation and that is what happened to rahu he said externally every everyone is validating me as the malefic planet i am the one who will do this i am a this and he said inner on the inner side i'm so spiritual and devoted towards ma durga who the hell thinks that this about me i don't care this is the attitude that rahu shows this encounter profoundly changes rahu tempting his ambitious nature with deeper insight of understanding he emerges from the depths not just as a seeker of power but as the guardian of hidden wisdom transformed by the journey through abhir buddhya realm so basically he finally finds that confronting ones of deepest uh, fears and profound personal growth and deeper understanding of the mysteries of the life will be revealed unless and until you confront yourself that okay this is where i am weak you will not be able to find the answer to the next key that is why am i not successful so here roy ji what do you think about the whole scenario of uh, rahu and this ahir buddhi yes this is a you know beautiful combination but uh, you to- you get these stories from the sources where i think for this you have to read lots of book and shastras and then you get all these deep stories sometimes i think that uh, so beautiful stories where these stories was before now we are looking at these stories now but one Everything. thing i understand before you proceed with all ascendants this is a million dollar question that this transit of rahu will affect only those people who are going through rahu and saturn antardasha mahadasha or any dasha or will affect any person who is through this dasha or not ruji it will on a larger level everyone has 12 houses and nine planets there is nothing yes. else right so it will affect everyone on a larger scale but the intensity hmm. so the- so the intensity is very dif- different for those people yeah. who have rahu dasha we saturn dasha they are completely ruled by this energy right any little little change subjects in very major shift in their life but those who are not going through exact rahu and uh, saturn mahadasha or sare sati you know, does not have to fear they have to just go with the flow and enjoy or try to seek any kind of uh, uh, you know transformative or you know what you say your deepest go into the deep to understand and reveal yourself this is what is required do you think this is a time of double transformation as uh, you know from 30th of june saturn goes uh, going uh, retrograde and now this transition so this is time of double tra- transformation I double transformation and saturn going retrograde and this is the nakshatra of saturn roi ji where rahu is mm-hmm. entering powerful mm-hmm. entity so rahu will have total control over the nakshatra till 4th of november this year and then later saturn will become direct and saturn will have more control over everywhere so yeah rohit ji moving on we have started our facebook and instagram pages so subscribe on instagram on facebook every uh, on uh, uh, facebook yes everything all the links are below so you will be able to get maybe a free chart reading let's see who gives the best comment there on the videos rohit ji when we talk about aries ascendant people here 12th house is where rahu is going to be placed especially lot of areas which will you will have to go deep inside is spiritual number one spirituality conscious your subconscious mind it is a profound spiritual awakening and deep introspection may occur this period is excellent for meditation retreat and exploring mystic and historic subjects but it is very important to also address your hidden fears and des- desires rahu's influence may bring subconscious fears and hidden desires to the surface requiring you to confront and transform them now this 12th house is the house that is very very you know how do you say very very uh, you know always said bad by bad by other people but this is the house of going into deep subconscious mind trying to understand your hidden fears desires and address them so this is a very deep house in fact this is the house that is related to expenditure your you know your fear your enemy hidden enemy sudden anything that includes isolation very isolated places you know extreme expenses because this is the time that extreme expenses can happen and there can be isolation but this isolation what does isolation means that maybe you will be traveling somewhere to a foreign country maybe there can be chances that you are 
you know you are away from your family for a little bit little while you know you will feel <coughs> expenses are on the rise as well as the isolated isolation has become too much heavy on me and this is the time to use this nakshatra go deep into it and try to transform and use this isolated isolation time for your self reflection and healing try to do meditation this is what all the 12th house is all about in fact at this time dream and intuition will be very powerful you may feel you may you know it is a time to you know we say that we have a gut feeling that this will work if anything your mind your body your soul is trying to communicate with you that this is where we will work this is the time that you should be accepting that with full you know confidence and foreign connection because this is the house of very very far away from the birthplace so your foreign connections opportunities with foreign con- um, you know foreign connections including people from different cultures also like some kind of cultural um, uh, you know combination or cultural uh, what you say uh, collaboration you can be doing during this time good time for people who are trying to uh, find a job in a foreign country amazing time for you overall the 12th house that is related to travel long distance travel long distance settlement anything to do with your subconscious mind anything to do with all the expenditure is either good either bad and if we talk about it is the house of sleep so during this time you will be feeling too relaxed that is how this time will be all the best for all the aries ascendant people there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments and uh, please subscribe i know you are one of the best uh, subscribers every time i see aries ascendant roj ji the bar is so up that they have subscribed thank you so much for your contribution and uh, have a great day for taurus ascendant people roj ji 11th house the house of social network you know big gains aspirations goals you know hidden allies that okay these are the people from where uh, we can do something innovation you know anything that has community involvement humanitarian work this is where rahu and leaving revati and entering into the uttra bhadrapada nakshatra right rohit ji now what happens here is rohit ji uh, there is one more uh, important thing this nakshatra is the complete nakshatra all about transformation and you know this is the time that socially you can ex- uh, expect a very big change suddenly you know unconventional pe- kind of people entering into your life and because rahu will be in a very comfortable position and the nakshatra lord is saturn which is in mool trikon right now you may gain there may be gains in money monetary gains suddenly unexpected sources you will say money is coming and aspirations and goal now you know what happens is that sometimes we make little bit of unrealistic goal right but here what happens is that this is the time that you know there will be a significant transformation in aligning more with your deeper desires and long term visions this is what is required you know nothing that is getting right now a golden a egg a hen giving golden egg every day and one once taken so this is how it is it has to be very very slowly every day every day every day this is how it should be your aspirations and goals should be very long term during this time you should take a long term approach to it also we talk about unexpected friends you know social network people you know may come during this time providing support in very much surprising way this is called hidden allies it's time that hidden allies may you may find hidden allies and then because this is the house related to you know uh, information technology anything to do with innovation anything to do with uh, investing into bigger projects in life this is that house you may find yourself drawn to new technologies or innovative ideas that can enhance your social and professional life so those people who are very not active on social media not making their profiles maybe this is the time that you will be trying to make them or you know make yourself visible out there and a lot of community involvement because this is the house related to activities or social causes that can bring fulfillment and new opportunities you know there is networking that you do when you do any kind of community and uh, social work so overall if we talk about rahu in this nakshatra very peaceful nakshatra very nice nakshatra it is going to give you little bit wealth is going to be on the higher side and everything else becomes plans that okay you know this is how we have to conduct our life in next these many days 
ओके ऑल द बेस्ट और असिस्टेंट पीपल थैंक यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड दोस्ट वॉचिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम डू सब्सक्राइब इट इज अ वेरी वेरी बिग uh effort from your side to you know always be connected to us and always listen to us and try to understand what is happening in the celestial realm so for that subscribe we also make monthly weekly videos which we will be uh, helpful for you for gemini ascendant people rohit ji when we talk about the 10th house it is the house of career and public image this is the time as soon as uh, rahu enters this nakshatra it is a time that lot of restoration lot of um what you say um lot of uh, lot of restoration on the other end lot of um uh, what you say is power social power that was missing um not social power how do i say power that is uh, that is in your in your the dominating power of in your career that even if you are at a lower scale lower level you still have that dominance that you are someone that is going to get restored revati is a very nurturing nakshatra so when rahu was in revati its nakshatra is very pushan devta it is very very soft it says okay we everything is about nurturing and it is also the time that you really bend down and uh, when rahu is in uh, revati it is the time you bend down in front of your career or in front of very higher authority but now rahu is entering into a place where the dominance will be yours you know this is the time of reinventing your career path and public image so once again go deep into yourself and try to understand who you are authority authority and power increases this is the time to establish your eth- uh, authority and credibility as well that okay people can rely on you this is how it should be lot of hidden opportunities can be seen and specially you know you have to be very alert about it because this is also a nakshatra of deep relaxation app you know if you are relaxing opportunity will come and go so it is the time to be very vigilant and very focused and leadership roles those who you know uh, those who are in just about to get leadership role and be thinking that when the hell do we go to the next level it is the time that you will be approached in a way your your aura will be as if that you will be approached in a way that you will have to take leadership roles and your workplace dynamics is going to improve in a very very awesome awesome way it is going to be a challenging environment but you have to everything remember the the guru mantra here when rahu is in this nakshatra it is all about deep going deep not on the surface going deep and trying to understand okay all the best this is the time that your fame ability dignity power rank profession you know your businesses your career your wealth your uh, you know ru- power of power to rule everything goes up so it's a great time for all the gemini ascendant people all the best um uh, those who are watching for the first time do subscribe i really really thank you so much for hitting that button right now and um, those who are uh, those who want to take any personal appointment every, all the details are below you can click on the link directly reach all the best so you know for cancer ascendant people rahu devata is already in the ninth house this time right after 30th of october now it is going to be entering into uh, leaving revati nakshatra entering into uttra bhadrapada nakshatra here higher learning and beliefs what is the ninth house it is the house of devotion luck father education rahu entering into a very very deep you know this is the time to go into very deep higher learning belief system you may transform at you know there will be lot of ex- deeper exploration of philosophy spirituality and there can be chances of higher education so now this for students who are you know in any kind of area of life where they want to go for the next level now this is an absolute wonderful time this is also the time that unexpected travel opportunities will come which will take you you know specially towards unexpected or unexplored area into your heart or into your mind and soul that you said that okay i will never go to a desert but when you go you find that this is so mesmerizing i was missing it this kind of feeling you will get during this time lot of time teachers 9th house is the house of you know higher learning so for higher learning what do you need you need a guru you need a teacher you need a mentor you know this is the time that influential teachers or mentors may appear suddenly out of nowhere guiding you through this transformative phase and taking you to the next level those who are into field of publishing writing anything that has to do with en- engagement into intellectual pursuits or writing a novel or writing fiction writing any kind of uh, stories you know songs very good time for you publishing writing amazing because 
you know ketu is in the third house for sure but rahu here it opens up your mind so Ra- what happened with rahu in this nakshatra he went went deep inside he f- saw that i am only into illusion i feel that everyone is talking wrong about me this is the way you will feel that okay i am only in illusion i am only in like in that area where people i think that people are talking wrong about me this is what your thought process will become during this time and uh, anything that has to do with your higher learning beliefs is going to enhance and this is the reason it is going to enhance because rahu is in very very comfort position legal matters you know because this is the house ninth house is bhagya sthana that means the sthana of your destiny but it is also fourth from the sixth okay that means any kind of um, longer area or any kind of inner disturbance peace you know disturbance of inner peace uh, because of uh, this court cases or any kind of legal matters uh, this is very important you may uh, you there may be instances where you know uh, unexpected developments in your career through your client through someone can happen and this can cause lot of disturbance in your life so what you should do during this time you should rather than only depending on your wit and research also take ex- expert opinion that is what is required for cancer ascendant people likewise things are looking very very awesome very lucky foreign travel any kind of foreign settlement buying of a property in a foreign country lot of things are very very positive for all the cancer ascendant people thank you those who are watching for the first time do subscribe thank you for subscribing your subscription puts a you know big impact on us uh, we have completed 50000 subscribers so you know it's a everything you have you are the family which is always together so thank you so much moving on to leo ascendant here 8th house roj which is the house of absolute transformation and mysteries and just imagine uh, the nakshatra you know ahit butnya he is also residing in this special 8th house which is the house of diseases journey enemy sorrow you know bad habits fear sin something that we hide from the world this is that matter here rahu is already a very transformative kind of a um, planet here transformation and mysteries will be at the top this is the time to uncover hidden aspects of your psyche go deeper and understand that okay man this is very simple for me i why 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 do i not think this way this is what your approach should be during this time uh, eight thousand the house of shared resources so be cautious with finances and resources as there may be sudden changes or disruptions now this is the time to ensure lot of transparency and clear communication anything that has to do with partnership anything that has to do with marriage intimacy or anything that has to do with uh, money transactions in a in a family like uh, you know inherited money by each other transacting that kind of uh, area eighth house is also very deep house of occult and mysticism so here an increased in occult in occult mysticism and hidden aspects of life may emerge but this is a good time to delve into this subject but not to become extreme fanatic it is rahu's nature to overdo things so what happens is sometimes you will overdo and become extremely fanatic into all this occult and stuff like that so try to avoid it only in moderate is good then inheritance insurance those who are trying to expecting some kind of gains benefits in that area very nice there is going to be gains in that these areas uh, so rahu is entering into a very comfortable position when rahu is in comfort in the house of saturn it's a minion of saturn you know saturn will tell rahu do this do that do that so rahu and ketu will do that here saturn is a minion of saturn coming to the master's house so it will be so comfortable you know and the nakshatra lord is a serpent so again awesome thing so don't uh, you know don't even stress about anything it is going to be very good i saw some of the video where they say oh rahu is going it is nakshatra it is going to take you into depression your heart will sink and i don't know what they were saying but it is not how it is in fact this is the time that you may require honest communication deeper understanding with your partners it is the time of getting more into depth and making your relationship more deeper so leo ascendant people thank you so much everyone who has subscribed and everyone who's watching us and everyone who's uh, you know helping us grow thank you how will be rahu in your chart if you want to know about your own self then you know you can book an appointment below thank you virgo 
Now, Ruji, when we talk about Virgo here, this is the place that Rahu enters into the seventh house. <laughs> Very difficult house. Partnerships, public relations, contracts, agreements, marriage, conflict resolution. Everything is related to the seventh house. Here, significant changes in partnerships. You know, hidden issues in relationships as well as loopholes in partnerships or somewhere where people will be trying to cheat you may come to light. The approach and dealing to your public may change with greater force, deeper, more meaningful connections. You will not say that let's not go over the top. You will go in, in, in debt and understand what is the real, real problem of the people. And this will lead you to the trust of people which can convert into contract agreements, you know, very, very awesome big things in your life. But because, you know, this is a very hidden deep nakshatra, you have to see the other person's deep. Uh, see, your Rahu is going into this nakshatra, Uttrapata Pata. Not, it is the whole world which will have Rahu into the nakshatra. So it can be another depth for another person, like the depth of hiding things and for you, the depth of ignoring things. So these two things, you know, you have to understand, are you into the uh, troubling thing or are you into the ignoring thing? Both, both are depth only related. We have depths of ignorance that, okay, man, okay, no, no, this should be good only because this is this brand. You know, we have such kind of ignorance in our life. So this is where you have to be very careful that anything, any new things that happen has to be completely researched, well-researched. Then Ruiji, marriage and commitment. Uh, for those considering marriage or committed relationship, this spring may bring unexpected developments. Uh, communication is the key. And uh, uh, this unexpected developments mean in a very positive way also, in a negative way also. Depends on how your Rahu is placed in your natal chart, what you're going through right now. Like positive in a way that, you know, when you try to do a deeper analysis, you found out that, okay, man, this, we are connected together in relationship or marriage. Other scenario, when you are trying to make a deeper, what you say, uh, um, deeper uh, research about the other person, your life is goes into a lot of trouble because that other person does not want you to do that. So this is how good and bad, depending on the placement of your planet and your dasha. But this is also the time for considering marriage, committed relationship, you know, it may bring unexpected developments, again, good and bad, and mostly in the positive side because Rahu is in a very, very good position. Uh, on the other hand, conflict, sixth house is the house of conflict, seventh house is the house of gains through that conflict or finally ending that conflict. Here, you may have to address and resolve long-standing conflicts in relationships, in partnerships, in anything to do with your business partner, with your colleagues as well in your workplace as well to try to solve them so that you know it can lead to a harmonious you know future this period is not a very short period it is there in next year man it is a long period so now we have to be slowly slowly rahu will start transforming you on a very very uh, different very very subtle level also let's hope for the best all the best Virgo Ascendant people. There is a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments. And those who are watching the video for the first time, do subscribe. Thank you. Libra, the best Ascendant in the world. Now, when we talk about Libra here, Rahu is in the sixth house. That, that means this is the time, a lot of transformation, a lot of deeper. You know, you have to go uh, very deep to address your, you know, health issues. To try to understand that what is prompting you what how how will you get into a better lifestyle and you know this is also the time of focusing on holistic wellness in fact very good time to receive any kind of pranic healing reiki anything that can give you a little bit of relaxation very important those people who are just uh, you know who just want to have a little bit of peace of mind can go for massages also this is the time that work environment also will have a little bit of impact. Uh, there can be possible changes and that can create hidden, you know, conflicts between very, very liked friend people. There may be suddenly a change and suddenly you will, from friends, you become enemies because 6,000 is the house of enemies. Now, this is the time that, you know, strive for clear communication and also cooperation. It's not about always trying to find fault in other people. It's trying to also go inside like Rahu always trying to think that okay people think this about me so I am like this but when he went inside you know if you begin in the beginning you see the story when he went inside himself he said no man I am a spiritual person why the hell I have been always looked myself as a demon 
I have a very positive side as well. This is what is going to happen with everyone when Rahu enters in uh, Uttra Bada Bada Nakshatra. Positivity comes to you. Here, service and healing. Those who are, I told you, those who are into service industry and those who are into healing industry, very good time for you. Service industry, you will be providing lot of service to other people, lot of help to other people. On the healing side, either you will be getting healed yourself, you know, through this karma that you're doing and reward as money monetary benefits also rewards as lot of uh, uh, cut down in your debts like many debts you will be able to pay during this time on the other hand you know this charitable work should be done as a volunteer as well during this time so you should be opting trying to find more time to give yourself out there in service and healing of the society it is also the time to reevaluate your daily habits to enhance productivity and well-being because you may find deep down when Rahu enters this nakshatra, you may find that deep down something you always thought you are or always thought how people looked at you. How do you change it now? This is what your main purpose will be. So you will, you know, some people say, oh, you are fat only, man. You will never get thin or you will never be able to lose weight. Now, this is the time that you say, man, no, I'm going to show how I lose weight. So a great time for all the people to enhance into their daily habits, enhance their daily habits with a lot of now certainty and uncertainty. And pets and animals, the sixth house is the house of pets, animals. This is the time to adopt good pets in your life, trying to get pets. Or if you have pets, you know, either spend a little bit of time with them throughout this time when Rahu is in this nakshatra because it is just that hidden love that you will feel, you will find from from your loved ones at your home so try to get into you know um, see rahu is a malefic planet dragon is a dragon right it does not mean that it's gonna be it can be only be very positive this is also the time when it means that your pets or your household uh, animals may require some kind of uh, it may have may feel some kind of uh, health issue which will which will be deliberately done so that they can come and feel more closer to you. This is what illusion is, right? Something that is deliberately done. The pet will act as it is not feeling well so that you can hug and stuff like that. So this is something that can happen for all the Libra Ascendant people during this time. But overall, good time to go in the depths, understand your real problem and try to remove debt. Go in the depth, remove the debt. This is what is the mantra during this time. So all the best. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for subscribing right now as well. Um, all the best. And there is a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments. Thank you. Scorpio. When we talk about Scorpio, your fifth house is where? House of creativity, children, speculative, joy, pleasure, education, learning, and so many things here. On and whole, when we talk about Rahu here, Rahu will go to the depths of your education. Rahu will go to the depths of creativity expression. So those who are into any kind of film, TV, any kind of creative work, they're doing awesome time for them. Wonderful time for them. Here, a little bit cautious because, you know, speculation and risk. When we talk about Rahu, and we avoid taking impulsive decisions. I know you are in the debts and all, but still, you know, in that moment, you can take impulsive decisions without even thinking, which can cause some losses and also decrease in joy and pleasure. Here, in fact, this is the time that you may be able to nurture your inner child. Selfless love that you also need to do with yourself, which you're always giving to other people. Huh? If kids are coming, take, we want this, take this. If that is happening, take this. Selfless love. Like we don't care if it's something I'm getting or I'm losing. But sometimes you have to understand that self-love is also very important. And this fifth house is very important in terms of self-love. And that is why this house always has the bigger aspect of education and learning. This is the time that you may enhance your skills, enhance your knowledge, go for higher education, go through different countries, go to different places. Uh, in fact, to start up, new start up, fifth house is the house of startup. That is why it is called the house of risk as well. Here, you may start up new things which will add wonderful, con it will be wonderful contribution towards you, towards your life. So overall, this is the time of a lot of joy, pleasure. Children-wise, you know, there can be hidden aspects of children that can come in front of you. That means the real purpose of your existence in their life is just they using you, they trying to get work done out of you or for finances. 
Rohit, this is such a uh, important thing, Rohit. So when we talk about people in uh, North America, you know, when I talk about this point that okay, when people will find that their children, what kind of uh, relationship, what kind of hidden aspect they have. So now in North America, what has happened? Every summer, all the babajis and all the you know grandfather and grandmother of the child will come to visit the child mother and father will give the child to the, in the hand of the grandfather and grandmother and they will go for work so the hidden aspect here is that they are just using them at the moment you know they just know that okay we want to work make money so let's let them take care of it let them so here other is that i met someone the other scenario is that i met someone Ruiji, they have like the grandfather, grandmother, everyone is here, but the mother and father are so dedicated towards giving their parents a lot of happiness. You know, that the real hidden aspect on both the places. The first hidden aspect is that I am using my, uh, you know, my parents just to take care of my kids. The other is thing is that I am here not because my parents, you know, I am here because today because my parents brought me to this place, to this uh, stage in my life by giving me education and good things. And now it is my turn to give them back. So that is also a hidden aspect saying that, okay, man, I want to do something good for you or I want you to do something good for me. So this is where you have to decide during this time. All this, and every aspect of your life, Scorpio Ascendant people, because this is what is going to happen. Hidden, lot of lot of hidden relationships may come to light. light. A lot of desire of other people. You will do a startup. You will understand the hidden, you know, the the hidden knowledge or what we say, the hidden problems that can cause a little bit of delay, disrupt in your life is what you will find out during this time. So amazing time for all the Scorpio Ascendant people. Those who are watching the video for the first time, do subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. I see so many Scorpio Ascendant. The whole graph goes up when Scorpio comes. Hannah uh, Roiji, uh, every time there is subscription. What do you say about Scorpio and Rahu? This is a very intense, uh, uh, very intense ascendant Scorpio. You know, it is the hidden element Scorpio. And in Scorpio, if Rahu is going into a hidden house, uh, it is very, very awesome. What do you think, Ruji? Yes, uh, Scorpio is, you know, uh, eighth house in Kalpurish Kundli. And this is always about the hidden thing, hidden, hidden things about the life. And the beautiful thing about this video is this is a just i i believe this is a first part because after three months on 5th of october saturn is going to transit in sadisha that is Rao's yeah, nakshatra nakshatra, this is nakshatra parivartan and this is i think exchange of so you will you are going to my house keep it my house very good and i am coming to your eyes will keep your house very good so yeah. this is exchange so this is Beautiful, beautiful exchange in future. Yes. Wonderful. Let's hope for the best. And thank you all the Scorpio Ascendant people for subscribing. All the best. Um, when we talk about Sagittarius, here, this is the Roiji, uh, very important. Fourth house of inner peace, happiness, home, family, inner peace, property, real estate, ancestral matters, comfort, society, roots, depths of a family. Everything is the fourth house. In fact, when we talk about any different places like heart, chest, lungs, your blood, mother, home, feelings, hidden money, dignity, and your father-in-law, everything is the fourth house has a lot of meaning. And that's why it is called a Kendra house. Here, this period may bring hidden family issues to surface. Something that your family is going through from a long period, which will require a lot of teamwork, a lot of work together so that you can find inner peace, a deep search of inner peace and emotional stability. And you know what is going to happen? You may engage in a lot of activities that are related to emotional well-being. Maybe some therapy also people may be joining Sagittarius Ascendant people. See, Rahu and Ketu and Kendra is not a very small, simple thing. Rahu and Ketu and Kendra is a little bit challenging only man because uh, when they are end of the day whatever planet whatever Rahu material life get to spiritual life but they are still malefics right they are they have the problem of being a demon as well here property and real estate you know there may be possible changes in property real estate now these changes can be either you shifting somewhere either you moving out either you trying to sell something and this is not Till now, this is till next March, by the way. So, a lot of things that you need to be taking care of during this time, making transactions because Rahu can put you into illusion. So, deep research in everything related to property, real estate is required by Sagittarius Ascendant people. 
also you know when we talk about anything that requires resolution in a family this is the fourth house fourth house is also resolution of a family that okay man now we all come to a agreement this is what this house means and this is the time if in a family there is a rift going on there is trouble problem going on you can get into a settlement settlement process so great time also when we talk about comfort and security fourth house is the house of social security how you feel nurtured how much you feel comfortable hai na how secure is your living place that supports your emotional needs this is what is required or this is what is going to be happening during this time when rahu enters into this space here it can cause little bit of challenge related to comfort and security you may have to go deep and try to do deep research about who is with you and who is with or who is not with you this is going to help you on a larger scale but overall roy ji fourth house is also the house of uh, luxuries in life and rahu is the one that provides luxury so great luxury uh, you know will be coming to you lot of um, lot of you know heart palpitation sometimes problem in the chest lungs can happen blood pressure up going and up and down can happen during this time um, but you have to be more peaceful go in the depth go in depth of yourself and try to meditate and try to manifest that everything you know that you desire has to come to you this is the time of manifestation as well because rahu went down in this nakshatra in uttar pradesh pata and he manifested that you know why everyone looks at me at in a wrong space how why does not people look at me in the right space that i am a spiritual person as well so that aspect of life has to be highlighted during this time so all the best sagittarius ascendant people there's a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments and thank you for subscribing thank you so much for putting this subscribe button which helps us grow a lot and gives a lot of motivation thank you for capricorn ascendant people third house communication siblings you know a short journeys media writing skill development anything that has to do with you know hobbies anything that has to do with your siblings your friendships your neighbors so this is all related to that house and everything in this house is very short lived remember this this is the house of short journeys this is the house of small hobbies this is the house of courage that comes only for a shorter period of time this is the type of initiative that only happens for a very small period of time and then we forget about it so everything in this aspects of area will now require a more deeper understanding by you yourself you know expect a lot of transformative uh, approach as well as transformations in how you communicate and interact with your siblings you know this hidden aspects of the relationship may be revealed everything understanding you know everything that requires understanding and resolution so lot of so rahu in the third house is considered very good by the way okay rahu in the third house is said that rahu my rahu is barking now bubu jo ki <laughs> rahu in the third house says that it is very full of courage initiatives you know very very full action packed virat kohli a very big cricketer has rahu in the third house ha huh? uh, my daughter has rahu in the third house very very courageous and very very always initiative taking initiative and putting me into that situation so rahu in the third house will always take tell you to take initiatives but this is the time to take initiatives with lot of lot of research you know not just like taking initiative okay let me try to understand pros and cons and then move forward that is how you will transform yourself also short journeys unexpected short travels will come you will suddenly be traveling there may be you know new opportunities on that journey which can lead you to a very larger level of uh, you know what you say larger level of uh, work satisfaction you may have a lot of satisfied uh, oh, what what you say a lot of uh, like a lot of opportunities will come of what you really want to do rather than what needs to be done in a simple way i feel put this way writing and media and you know you will be engaging in writing media other forms of communication your ideas may gain more visibility and influence and a lot of skill development will happen because third house is the house of skills now this is the time that enhancing existing skills is so very easy right we can enhance but also trying to find hidden things you know i'll tell you roji a small thing so i know someone who was you know who was when we were in media and entertainment he was working in the wire in the wire room it's called the car room where you know central wires and everything is there 
PCR it is called in news. So what happens is that he was working there, but he also knew the job of a graphic designer. So while he was working there, he also understood that, you know, I can progress myself when I go to this complete graphic designing world, because this is what is going to pay me more. So he transformed himself and gave more effort and time in that area and approached the authorities that, okay, you know, I want to get into this area now. And he was given the opportunity. So what happened while you're doing something? And if you feel that somewhere, my skill is too big, too nice. So why not? Why not get into that kind of area and try to get a uh, you know how I say, um, you know, get professional growth or advancement during this period. So this is the time to go into more areas, do more research in that areas and try to, un you know, mine, try to go inside and take it out your real talent. Great time for all the Rahu, all the people who are Rahu entering into Uttarabhata Nakshatra, every one of Capricorn Ascendant, one of the best things that is happening to you. And Ruji, this is your Nakshatra. So that means you also need to, uh, this, this is your um, um, sign. So you need to get into more depth of your, uh, you know, skills, because there are many skills that you have, but you have been completely ignoring it because you think, oh, it does not matter. So now you have to work on it so that you can also stand out there in front of other people and feel a lot of courage, a lot of initiatives can happen, communications can improve and short journeys will should give you very good results. All the best. For Aquarius Ascendant people, here second house is the house that is completely related to money, finance, family, that family that you create, speech, a lot of verbal communication, verbal commitment. You know, this is what uh, the second house really means. And this is the time that Rahu is entering into the house of finances and uh, in the nakshatra of Uttarabhadabhata, which is against finances. And uh, it says that, no, I my real wealth is knowledge. For us, nowadays, real wealth is the, the, the currency in our pocket. But for the Uttarabhadabhata nakshatra, he says that real knowledge, the real wealth is knowledge only for me. Now here, hidden financial matters may come to light requiring careful management that means uh, some people who have been trying to take money from you are trying to get get you invested in wrong places such people's motive will come out and you will be at the judgment area that how do you take it forward also this is the time that rahu is in too much comfort zone and when you're in comfort zone you want to eat here this is the time that diet your speech you know, in these areas, be very mindful and try to bring a lot of transformation. Like if you're in non-vegetarian diet, try to move to a lot of vegetarian diet. If you're into vegetarian diet, get into veganism, you know, trying to level up, go a little bit more level in terms of your diet and also your speech, the way you approach, the way you want to speak, the way you not let other people speak. This is also required that during this time to take care of such kind of things. Family wealth, there can also be possible changes suddenly in family events. And you know, there can be a lot of asset distribution during this time. And trying to understand, you may also come across few things which says that, okay, this actually should have belonged to me. And the other person has taken it without my consideration or making me a fool in my family. These kind of instances can come in front of you during this time. Also, uh, this is the house of self-worth. Something that how we feel that, okay, this is my current uh, value. This is the house of values as well. Now here, make choices that align with your core values and long-term you know, stability, not because what you want other people to feel you or think about you. This is the time to you yourself determining that, okay, this is where I am good and this is how I feel about myself. I don't need external validation. If you take external validation during this time, you will be in sorrow. Rahu will try to bring you, give you signals that, okay, internal validation. Okay, um, I did a lot of hard work. No one even said thank you. So, okay, they were not supposed to say thank you. But I know, my conscious knows, I did a lot of hard work with ethical, uh, you know, reasoning and with a lot of dedication. So, things will, karma, do karma and good karma will come back to you. Lord Krishna says in, uh, you know, the Bhagavad Gita, he says that do karma and don't wait for results. I will do the result for sure, but you do your karma right now. So this is what is required. 
many new investment opportunities will come now here make sure that you do a lot of research before committing to any financial ventures any investments any big big changes in your life so mostly in the area related to money family lot of hidden things will come on the surface and you will also feel that okay man this was my hidden strength you know and now it has also come to surface so i will tackle it this way so great time for all the aquarius ascendant people thank you for subscribing those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe and um there is an appointment link in the whatsapp or description below so thank you uh, click on it and you will talk to my team and we can discuss about your chart in detail pisces sorry rohit ji pisces the lagna the lagna is containing rahu self identity what is the first house man your body your mind your face your attitude your attitude toward other people your ego your self self respect on a very larger scale not in any particular scale self respect as if how at the whole not like financially what is your self respect emotionally what is it this is at the whole in all areas of life it is also the house of personal goals that what i am capable of where what goal i should be making my uh, you know how how i should be putting my goal in front of me health vitality personal magnetism and new beginnings lagna is always something that from where you start so that is why it is the house of new beginnings as well here lot of transformation in self identity personal appearance now hidden aspects of your personality you will find that you are such a kind person or maybe you must have never experienced an emotion before which you will experience during this time lot of time that you know you will be very keen on yourself to try to understand your hidden strengths which will make sure that you know your personal goals are achieved so you will go very very deep during this time my brother and sisters you are going to go absolutely deep inside you and try to understand that man if this is my weakness there will be some strength which will overpower this and that is you will find that health vitality on the other hand you know you have to prioritize lot of thing lot of thing self care uh, wellness awareness because that will lead to a physical transformation for all the pisces ascendant people uh, you may you know all this transformation videos come i was 118 uh, kgs and now i am 68 kg you know this kind of transformative videos come that transformation over a period of time so this is the time that your mind also requests such kind of transformation for your body like if your attitude has to change in a simple way personal magnetism when we talk about your charisma and per personal magnetism may increase rahu is a hero person hero he says that i am the hero man i eat sun like who the like the the king i swallow him every time a year so that means he he says that i am the powerful person so here you will be also that of that power you may find your inner strength this is the time that you may find your inner strength and you will attract new opportunities and relationship in your life which will make you know take you to steps closer towards your personal growth fulfillment happiness craziness rahu when it's in the first house and in uttra bhadra bhadra nakshatra you should go crazy because this is the time you will find the deepest darkest thing from your mind and take it out the fear will go away and put the most important you know principle of life in inside you which will make you sure that your goals are achieved so overall level it's a very very awesome transit for all the people for pisces ascendant also very very awesome and thank you everyone for making our channel 50000 family members very very great feeling this is rohit ji what do you say ah, yes and uh, this 50 what you have written here 50k this is a number uh, which our eyes are looking from so many days and we are very near to it maybe today we are going to complete this 50k 50k family members means 50k time responsibility now we are we have increased you know 50k more burden on us to make more research videos weekly monthly research based nakshatra transits and uh, so much so many videos we have to make with responsibility with stories and what knowledge we got from shastras and everything yes this is a number and this is not our number this is a 50k is for each family member wherever they are in the world this is their win this is their you know 50k number not us we are two this 50k is for every person they can cut cake 
in their home when we have 50k because this is their number not our zero is number absolutely thank you so much for everyone thank you rohit ji for your service and uh, thank you very much ji rohit ji and uh, we will meet in some other video today i am jai shri ram jai shri ram jai <laughs> थैंक यू बाय बाय टेक केयर